Hello and welcome back. In the last video we have seen that our optimal amount controller on some in some cases it's not really working well. Yeah? In these cases where our our system is already an integrational system. Right? Then we cannot get rid of disturbances. Yeah? To get rid of disturbances we really need to use some controller which has also an integrational part. But if we're having two integrational parts, yeah, we'll end up in a very steep thing in the in the Bode plot. Yeah? This means the phase reserve is zero uh, or close to zero. We'll end up in swinging. Yeah? We will end up in swinging, and maybe in best case we're at stability border. Bad. Uh, now. We're going to see what we can do about this. Yeah? So we need to use a PI controller. We need to use a PI controller. Let's start at the optimal amount with the P controller and so on, what we've done last time. Okay. Let's have a look at this again. Uh, yeah, small. Make me small hand. This is how this looked like. Yeah. So, ooh, the IT1 element here. This is how this looked like. This was the system, yeah. this was the controller, and this was the outcome, the result. Looks good. Yeah. What I do now is I'm using a PT1, a PI controller, yeah, with the same amount here. Yeah. So we will end up at the high frequencies we will end up exactly where we have been. Okay? So I'm now get rid of the P controller, duck, use the PI controller on my FO somewhere. Must be PI, there is the PI. Let's see how this looks like. Okay. Now this would be really a bad idea because this the two time constants are now exactly the same as you see yeah? and this results in a double integrator woof going down minus 180 everywhere yeah? but what I can do is I want to have this here is the band at one okay one per second is the band of the of the system yeah? I want to pinch it at half so at five at zero dot five at yeah, one half and I put this band here to even half so at the fourth yeah? so at 0 0.25 at the fourth so this dn must be 4 then it looks like this okay? then it looks like this I move this a little bit here yeah? We are pinching here the one line at 0 0.5. This is where we wanted it. Yeah. The next pin is factored two away, and the previous pin is also factored two away. So we are symmetrical, symmetrical around this pinch. Yeah. And if we're looking at the pinch here, our amplitude reserve is reaching a maximum. Yeah. Because we are symmetrical. Yeah, that's why it's called symmetrical optimal. Okay? And we're using double and half frequency for our bands. Let's have a look. Let's have a look what this means. Yeah? I will open again the same IT1. Yeah? So this is our this was our PI controller. This was our situation. Yeah? As you remember, hopefully from last video, yeah. we are satisfied. We are satisfied with our behavior here, yeah. but we are not very satisfied with our behavior here. There, to, to, to compensate this, to get rid of this uh, disturbance behavior, we need to have an integrational part. You say, okay, we're using the same proportional part, and now we're using this constant, this integrational constant. So here 
again I have to not use Tn, I have to use Kn, and this is a fourth. Yeah. Let's see what the result is. Okay? Okay. Now it looks like this. You see, this was getting worse. This was better before. Okay. Maybe I freeze this now. Yeah. I can change this to zero and make a second window. And let's have a look on both of them. You see here, this was much better before. Much better. Here we had one, and here we're going up to even almost 1.5. So we're going up like here. Yeah? But here, yeah, where we end up at permanently a deviation of two, yeah, here the deviation will go away. Yeah? This is where the integrational part helps us. This is where it does not really help us. And this is where the integrational part is helping us. So this, the, the disturbance is going away now. It's not smooth, you see, there is a rough patch, but at least it's gone. Okay, so this is the good news. If we have an integrational part in our controller, we can get rid of disturbances. However, it will make it will make these things worse here. Okay, this is not that nice. Okay. What we can do about this? What we can do about this is we can simply add a filter, pre-filter. Yeah? We do not have to use the jump here, okay? We do not have to use the jump here. Yeah? I will book, kill this one, and I will simply enter a pt1 element as a filter element here. So this is the reference value. And I will not use the reference value as a jump. I will use it pre-filtered. Okay, I will use it pre-filtered, and the pre-filter should have the same time constant. Don't forget to change this again. Should have the same time constant like the controller. Okay, so in our case, four. This is our frozen thing. Yeah. Let's have a calculation and look at that. Look at that. This is our previous situation. Okay, without filter. Pre filter, yeah. This is our situation now. We have much less overswing. Yeah. It takes a little bit longer, clear, because it does not react on, on the total amount of the desired value already at the beginning. It the, the total amount of the desired behavior is coming smoothly, filtered with this PT1 element. Yeah. This is why we are reacting a little bit slower, but the overswing is. Pretty nice. There was no influence on the disturbance. No influence at all. It still looks like it looks. And like I said, at least we're getting rid of it. Okay. So this is the, op the symmetrical optimum. When we do things like this, where we actually are too steep in the body plot. Here, we, are, we would be too steep. We can compensate this with our controller by breaking and then going steep again. Yeah? Just to get here enough phase reserve. Yeah? Here. So we are steep, not that steep, steep again. And this is resulting in enough phase reserve that we can reach at least a stable behavior like this. Okay. 
and we can get rid of disturbances. This is what this is enabling. If we are not caring about the overswing, this is already fine. If we are caring about the overswing, we can use a pre-filter and ending up like this. Yeah. yeah, symmetrical optimum. You see, there is always a possibility. There is always a possibility of, of controlling something. It's getting more and more complicated. Yeah. But usually there are no systems which cannot be controlled. Yeah. There are then control elements or control systems which really do look tremendously complex. Yeah. So there are control systems with a lot of pre-filters. You see pre-filtering is one option. There are control systems with pre-control curves. There are control systems and then there are anti wind up technology and so on, it can get really complicated. But we are not going to talk about these complicated parts. Yeah? If you understood those things here now, you are on a good path, I would say. Yeah? Well, that's about adjusting, adjusting uh, controllers with the help of the body plot. So we had this theoretical part, what we want from the Bode plot with high pinching frequency and, and, not, and, and enough phase reserve and so on. Then we de developed this optimal amount controller. We realized that this optimal com amount controllers are not working in every case yeah, because the disturbance is, is kicking in. And then we're talking about, we've talked about this here now, the symmetrical optimum okay. as a solution. Next time we're going to talk about, uh, not about this uh, analytic approach, yeah? next time we're going to talk about uh, empiric approach. Yeah? How to adjust the controller in the field when I see something. Yeah? Experimentelle Regeleinstellung is the topic of our next video. For this time, Thank you very much for listening and goodbye.